It's about uh, time for the reckoning. Let's do it. Jerks! Shame! Jerks! The jerk list. The IT's all. <laughs> There's too many jerks. That's what I love about jerk. The jerk list. A severe penalty for being a jerk. You're a jerk. The jerk list. Jerks! Jerks! Cut it out. Shame! You're a jerk. The jerk list. There's too many jerks. The jerk list. Judge rules. Jerk! All right, here we go. Before we begin, I have to say it as I do each and every week. Remember, if you get upset that you hear your name and you feel the Han Solo edition blaster on your backside, just keep in mind, I didn't do this to you. You did this to you. Let it begin! First up on the jerk list, I hate to do it, one year anniversary of Big Ben having the motorcycle crash, and it just puts me in mind, he made it for the same reason last for last season, and I can't imagine what else Seven could do to cause me to throw him onto the jerk list here, but it did put me back, and it did give me a little chill on my spine, and I just want to say, Big Ben, you worried your mother and me sick. Don't you know that? Stay off the motorcycle. Take care of yourself. you got to be our QB for at least another dozen years until you learn that lesson once and for all. And obviously you haven't because you're exposing yourself to throwing to going into a coma tonight out at PNC Park watching the Rangers and Pirates. Really? That's how you celebrate a, a year of life that maybe should be looked as gravy? You go out to that? That could kill a man. Don't you see, Big Ben? That's the sort of behavior that makes you one thing. A jerk! All right. I've made no secret about the fact that uh, last weekend, this Saturday, my bride, Miss Cindy, baby Lemieux Crosby, and I jumped on the airplane from L.A. and flew out to here, Pittsburgh, PA. Now, here's what I've noticed. Air travel exposes the worst in people. The three of us on the plane east at the airport, LAX, and then coming down in Pittsburgh, and then the four and a half hours up in the air. All right, I'm carrying little baby LC around in those airports and up in the sky. Now, she's wrapped in a pink blanket, and poking out from underneath, you can make out that she's wearing a white and pink getup that's adorned with pink hearts. Three times over the course of the trip, people asked me if she was a boy or a girl. What's wrong with you? Did you just arrive on the planet? How did you reach adulthood living in this society without noticing that babies in pink are girls and babies in blue are boys? People who ask me if my daughter dressed in pink is a boy or a girl are a jerk. All right, you know what? Let's get to it right now. As always, the jerk hotline. The eye sees all. I'm like Sauron up atop the tower there, except that my cause is righteous and his is evil. But it's still nice to get some help from you, my Urukai, who let me know if anyone slips through the cracks. Let's take a listen to one of the calls we got this week. Dave, this is Michael from Greensburg. I'd like to nominate Popeye as a jerk. Oh, yeah, my. forgot your birthday. He keeps giving you a lip. He needs to shut his mouth and know his role. Popeye, you're a jerk. There you go. You did the right thing and fired the gun without me even having to order you to do so. Thank you, Michael. Thank you also, uh, uh, Jeremy for doing that, for calling him out. I had it on my mind already. And yet Popeye, nonplussed. Why are you not sad? Don't you know what this means? Unless some salvation comes your way in the next couple of minutes, into the hall of shame you go. And what you know once you go in, you don't get out. You can ask Barry the Creep Bonds, Greta Van Susteren, David Eckstein, and the Bachelor Officer and a Gentleman. They're all in there. The Bachelor, I can only imagine, is raping everything inside outside of Greta Van Susteren, given that she's a woman. Anyway, I don't know what you're so happy about. All right, let's move along. Do we have any more calls on the jerk hotline? Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't think so. You have no more calls on the jerk hotline? Oh, there's, yeah, there's another call on there, but it's, 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 not, a, it's not a jerk call. It's, it's one of the other variety of calls. It's, it, it happens to be a, a get-out-of-jerk-free uh, call. Oh, really? Well, well, those are rare. Usually you get calls for the jerks in the world. I encourage anyone who has any nominees for the jerk list to give a call to 412-921-9379 and let us know who you nominate. Now, this is a call for a Get Out of Jerk Free card. Let's hear it. Hi, this is Popeye's wife. I guess you could call me Olive Oil. Um, 
I was just calling because I wanted to nominate Popeye for a Get Out of Jerk Free card because um, he works really hard and he works long hours. I never get to see him, and he really does make Dave look good. So um, he does a great job producing the show every night, so I hope he gets that card. And thanks. Have a good night. Bye. That is shameful. That is, I, I, I mean, do you have any pride, sir? That that call came in totally unsolicited. I'm sure. What I, You know what? I have to tell you, I respect you for your devious nature. I kind of like it. You anticipated you are going to wind up on the jerk list, and you knew three strikes and you were out. Last week, a get-out-of-jerk-free card saved your hide, and it appears it's done so again. But how dare you have your, your wife come up and be your co- uh, your, your sabotage justice like this how dare you sir i'm gonna let it go this time because like i say i admire it that you went behind my back and you conspired to fix this thing but that's the last one all right i have a real get out of jerk free card so all right so the slate's clean in case you don't know if you act like a jerk in the future and you've already received a get out of jerk free card you play that card and you're back to square in my book and that's what you want you want to be square in my book the righteous book all right the jerk book anyway that's something else. I think that uh, also goes by the name Penthouse Magazine, the jerk book. Anyway, that's I don't want to digress. Anyway, now, the Get Out of Jerk Free card, the real one, goes to, wow, Dave Damashek. That's who it oh, goes to. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? No, that goes to me, and let me explain why. Air travel. Last week, the creep of the week was the fat pig woman who was shoving her food down her throat, and I challenged her to pick up her garbage that she threw out of her fancy SUV, and she got into an argument, told me to go F myself, and I told her that she has to pick up her trash because it's not right for her to wait for someone else to come along and pick up her filth. So she did so, and I felt that was good. So, as luck would have it, at the airport, we're standing around the baggage carousel in Pittsburgh on Saturday night waiting for our bags and it was very crowded and there was an Asian mother and daughter standing there the daughter was probably 20 21 years of age and they were speaking Japanese to one another and uh, going back and forth and the daughter was shoving into her face some sort of bagel sandwich I think it was chicken salad or something like that or egg salad because it had the goo all over it and some fell out of her mouth and onto the floor and I said that's disgusting I said, oh my god unbelievable then she asked the mother, you could tell, even though I don't know the language, you could tell based on the way they were talking, she gestured, should I pick that up? And the mother said, no, 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 leave that. Someone else will get that. You could tell someone uh, something like that was what was said. Then the daughter dropped more a couple of minutes later, more of this filth, the filth from her mouth, her food, her remains from her food on the ground. So I said, this is ridiculous. And just then, a woman pushes in between the two of us, between me and the daughter eating her sandwich, and grabs her bag off the carousel, pulls it down, and it lands right in the food that's on the ground. So I say to the girl and to the mother, I say, are you happy now that your filth now is all over that poor woman's bag? And I think the mother, the Japanese mother, didn't speak English because the daughter then turns to her and says something to her, and the mother goes, oh sighs and goes and gets a napkin and picks it up off the ground strike one strike one for the righteous i've done it again piece by piece filthy jerk after filthy jerk i will take you down if it takes you takes me the rest of my life that's why dave damashek you get to get out of jerk free card congratulations my dear dear friend that that was a very good reason to to get one but i, I don't is it really legal for you to give yourself a, a get out of jerk free card i mean legal is God, is it legal for God to do what he does? He's God. When the jerk list is being read, I am essentially God. I would like you to keep that in mind. All right, that's if, if, you, if, silly you, if, if you like let me so. uh, out of the, uh, the the hall of shame, I, I suppose you can. You let can you yourself. out? You're not in yet. Are you already assuming no, you're no, in? No, no, I was, I was destined for oh, yes, it right, before right. the. Uh, it was a noble deed. One good one deserves another. All right. Now let's get to the ugliness, specifically back to the list here. And it's the rest of the way, I, I, I hate to tell you, it's going to be all Pittsburgh Pirates here. First of all, the Pirates, the players themselves, embarrassed themselves up in Yankee Stadium with their poor effort. Jack Wilson, the most expensive Pittsburgh Pirate, was, uh, was asked, why are they so bad against American League teams in particular? Here was Jack Wilson's cockamamie excuse. The American League designs their team about having an extra power hitter, the DH. And uh, when we go to American League parks, our team isn't designed to have one of our best power hitters be a DH. 
Oh, so the Pirates don't have a DH, and that's why they're so bad against American League teams. Well, to be fair, Jack Wilson's right. They are 0-3 against uh, American League teams. Wait a second. The Pirates against National League teams are eight games under 500. What's your excuse for that one, Jack Wilson? Stop coming up with stupid excuses. Guess what? You will. I will. Call you a jerk. All right, next up, he barely escapes, barely escapes creep of the week status, general manager Dave Littlefield. Now, I've been talking about this the last couple of nights. His professional integrity is at stake because he keeps saying, well, the Nuttings did not tell me that I wasn't allowed to draft the more valuable Matt Weeders. I didn't have to do that. We got the player we wanted, so he's covering for them. He's not, he's, he, he's uh, refuting these allegations that the nutting said he's too expensive to sign. He's Scott Boris, his client. We can't sign him. Take someone who's going to be cheaper. Well, which is it, Dave Littlefield? Did you want to draft Matt Weeders, or did you really want another lefty pitcher? Either you're covering for the nuttings to save your job, or you're a dope. Which one is it? Well, whether you're a shill for your bosses or a dope, one thing's for sure. You're a jerk! All right. Now, that leads me to the creep of the week. Oh, I'm sorry. Start it again. Start it again. Wow. I maybe have to play that uh, Get Out of Jerk Free card immediately for failing to sing the Song of Songs, the Creep of the Week song. Try it again, Popeye. My apologies. Creep, creep, creep of the week, of the week. He or she is the creep of the week. Well, lots of complaints about the effort and decision-making of the players. Complaints about Dave Littlefield, but as I explained last night, it's not unlike Reaganomics back in the 80s. The trickle-down effect, they said, that this this foolish system would work. Same thing now. The nut, it, what we have with the Pirates, nuttingnomics. It's trickling down. Their lousy attitude has spoiled all, has spoiled Dave Littlefield and in turn Skip Tracy and now those poor players. It's a shame. It's like I compared last night to the movie Misery. You remember the movie Misery with Kathy Bates and Jimmy Kahn? Jimmy Kahn, he has a terrible accident. Something bad happens to him. He has a car crash. See, he's hurt. He's wounded. And Kathy Bates comes along, and she's a nurse. And she's a, and so you figure she can nurse him back to health. And she takes him in, and she fixes him up and everything. Or you think she that's what she's doing. And then it turns out, wait a second, she's just poisoning him and breaking him for her own war purposes. She doesn't care what anyone else thinks. She doesn't care what he wants, what anybody else, the fans of the of Jimmy Kahn, the author, who it, when she's playing, she doesn't care that those people are being deprived of his work. All she cares about is herself and what she wants. Well, same thing. 1992, Francisco Cabrera gets the hits. Bonds and Bonilla and everybody leaves the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Nuttings swoop in years later. Oh, they're going to nurse this team back to health. They're rich, deep pockets. They're going to make everything all right for this Pirates team once and for all. Wait a second. They're not doing that. They're keeping them sick. They're not paying them anything, but they're making profits. They're putting the money in their pockets. They don't care what the fans think. They don't care if the Pirates, if the players are ashamed, if poor Jason Bay has to languish on a lousy team for the rest of his career, as long as they keep lining their pockets with your money. That's what I call misery, and that's why I call you, Nuttings, the Creep of the Week. The Jerk List with Dave Damashek. Until next time, don't be a jerk.